A Nightingale Grove. The inconspicuous grove near the border of the world wound is nearly untouched by the foul energies of the abyss. The rare traveller who dares pass through here can enjoy the songs of the nightingales in the trees, only to remember too late. The last bird fled this region long ago. Wait, what? Ah. Hands off that! It's my yours. Well, watch me. Wait, wait, someone's here. Run! Run, Forrest, run! Who's that? Nobody's running. Draw your weapons and fight, you cowards, or I'll cut you down myself with my toothpick sized knife. Stand yeah! with me! Light hammer. Oh, gold one. So now we're talking. Cloak. Whatever. Light hammer identified. Unidentified, so it's uh, some sort of magical object that could potentially be cool. Hermitite. Blah. Silver inkwell. Blah. Whatever. Uh -huh. Ah, potion. That's good. What about the dead dude? Breastplate. Masterwork Great Axe. Well, hello there. Can we use that on our character? Is that a better weapon? Where's the Masterwork? First 41, 44. No, that's better. Mm, 58, 69. Well, on paper, this could do one more damage. But... We don't have an enhancement. So, no, thank you. Hmm. We march ahead. Midnight moral. Barrel shells. There's a lot of stuff lying around here. Okay, whatever. Oh, there are dead people. Started leather, blur, alchemist's fire. That's good. Mm. A letter to a noble crusader. I hope this letter finds you in good health, Sir Will William. Oh, Willem. There is an eye missing for William. I see now with great sadness. Oh, a big great sadness. Pat me wants to know your location. But you have quite forgotten and abandoned us. It's been three years since you visited your native lands and your father at your family crypt. Last summer, some passers-by broke the lock on it and spent the night inside. The steward I installed a new lock and cleaned up all the wreckage. Your servant went, who went missing, whom you inquired after in your previous letter, has indeed been seen, but at present his precise whereabouts are unknown. He came to us, looked at us with contempt, said something through his teeth, gathered taxes for you, ate a whole goose for free at the tavern, jumped on his horse and galloped off. If he went missing somewhere on the road, we wouldn't know about it. It's been a complete disaster here, even without missing strangers to account for. Seven days ago, all cows gave black milk, and the milkman, who tasted it out of drunken stupidity, died the pain of twisted bowels. There is something wrong with the spring, the water stinks of rotten eggs, and the cattle won't drink it. Besides, some scoundrel threw some dead dogs in the closet well, the one on the crossroads, so we filled it with soil. I expect the demons are giving us trouble any way they can, our cattle are dying of thirst. By the way, it's quite interesting because they were talking about dead dogs and cattle won't drink it. If you compare dogs with cats, the likelihood that a dog will eat something that will 
be detrimental to its health is quite high, especially in younger dogs. But cats? Cats are usually quite clever. It is very rare that a cat eats something that is obviously detrimental to its health. So in a way, cats are cleverer than dogs. Children are going missing in your protected forest. The woodcutters saw some scarecrows which they swore were alive. They spoke of angry faces and bad teeth. They were afraid to get too close and watch them from afar. Frightening things are going on in the woods. I fear that witches and demons have settled in your protected forest to do their wicked mischief. They are probably the ones who picked the bones of your servant who has gone missing. And you ask us as if you suspect us of being involved. As if we could kill and rob an honest man. I am it's upsetting, Sir Willem. We never touched your servant, and if we did, he was a wretched man, mug, smug and nasty. And we have no food or water, and our children are going missing. Instead of serving your Lady Godfrey, you should be home defending us and bringing us food. You must have some gold, lord that you are. There is no one to protect us besides you. City lads only come to find new recruits and take our gold. They don't have the authority to do anything more, and the send-off we give our lads and lasses they take. The whole village comes to say farewell, just like it's a funeral. None of them have ever returned home to the village yet. We are dying. So I'll tell you the honest truth, Sir Willem. We cannot live like that anymore, but we cannot die in such terrible conditions either. So we agreed with our neighbors to burn down your forest on the next moon, your protected forest, where the dark beasts live. We'll surround it, set it on fire from all sides, and hire a wizard to steer the wind. We won't be put off just because the forest is protected, or because no one may shoot game there, or enter therein, or cut down its trees. No. Of course you'll be very angry at us for burning down your family forest, because we've already been cutting its wood and shooting game there. There is nothing else to eat and no other wood. We won't let the forest beasts steal, or steal our children. If you wish, come and execute us. Execute us all! Execute me, execute the tree, execute everything. But anyway, we won't put up with this anymore. That's that. Respectfully the steward of Vixola village to Lord Sir Willem. Well, that's it. Slightly disturbing tale. Magic essence. How cutter. Amber. Okay. What else do we have here? Anything of interest? Well, it doesn't look like it. No, we can't cross that one. Hmm. I will guide us. Didn't the game once said that we could ride horses? I mean, at least there are skills to improve horses, so when do I get off my first? Godspeed. On. Hmm. Let us press on. I mean, apparently that's it. There's nothing more to do here, nothing to discover, nothing to experience, just... Okay, everything's gone. Ravaged <laughs> campsite. Collapsed tents, ragged remains of sleeping bags and abandoned backpacks run around a long dead fire pit with an overturned cooking pot. You can procure, procure some regions for creating consumable items here. Okay. Wait, there's a demon army. Failed to sneak past the enemies. Prepare to fight. Oh dear. Let's prove their logic is lacking. Gone, fiend! Too late to break. <laughs> hey! 
Let me help. No harm, right? Plagued horse. So apparently, horses can be creatures in combat. Mm -hmm. We march ahead. a slight problem called this is not territory that we conquered already with our main army so that's why we are being constantly harassed by these enemies but we can change that one my blade masterwork elven curve blade so now we're talking that's a very good weapon. Cause fear master with glare, I don't care. What else do we have here? Blah blah. Wow, an elvish blade. Well, now we're going into interesting territory. What can this weapon... Oh. Can't equip, of course. Oh, it's a two-handed. Two well, that's mildly interesting. Well, nobody can equip this weapon. Oh. Seriously? Do we need an elf for that? Hmm. And yeah, we're going to advance with our main army. The line between fascination and obsession, between SSD and HDD loading times, cannot be understated. Hmm. Would like to know how I can begin. Oh, it's automatically going. What the heck? I press W to move forward. Maybe that is the key to automate this. So it seems to be very important to get more troops. I have no idea how we're going to do that. Let's play a game called we press on a button and a UI and see what happens. Except, um, yes, yes, yes. The Grey Road. Recruiting units, yes. This new victory has brought you more finance points, which can be used to bolster your army. To recruit new units, click the recruit button on the panel on the left at the bottom of the screen. Ah. Recruited units appear in Kinabris. At the beginning of each week, new units become available for recruition. Yeah, for recruitment. The site of an old battle between the Crusaders and demons is still strewn with thousands of corpses. The stench of death hangs thick in the air while the survivors launch, lurch around the battlefield looting whatever they can. The dead, after all, don't need their trinkets and keepsakes anytime soon. Accept Oblissimos. Okay, so what's that? Experience. Leadership, logistics, diplomacy, military, progress. Okay. The leadership stat represents the authority of the knight of the knight commander of the crusaders and their willingness to obey his orders without question. 
logistics that reflects the quality of the crusade supplies, the diplomacy stat reflects the political influence of the knight commander and the willingness of foreign mercenaries to join the crusade. The military stat represents the level of battle readiness of the crusaders and the general combat effectiveness of the crusader armies. Okay. Buy resources. Oh, hello there. The resources that we have. Let's buy... 15. Let's buy 500. Uh, finance points. Let's buy five. No, 500 material points. And okay, let's buy 50,000 finance points. Okie dokie, so now we have a lot of finances. Buy resources, perfect. Merging and splitting units. If two of your armies stand next to each other on the global map, you can transfer units between them by clicking the button that appears next to the army's name. Oh! Upon exchanging troops, the number of movement points of each army will become equal to the lowest value among the two. Clicking the I button next to the army's name on the left will take you to the army management screen. Here you can see your, set your army starting positions at the beginning of combat. You can split your units by holding control or shift and moving the unit to a different slot. You can also create a new army here by clicking the button on the right. Sign a general by resources. Recruit. Ah. Crusader Army 3. No, I want. One, two. Uh, assign general. Assign gen. We don't have a general. Recruit no general. Ah. So we have Magister Pilquel. So Raviel Evanmist. I've Iron Brackwald. Or Almarty Grinning Wolf. Okay, so we have two rangers. Ranged, one melee and one wizard. Um, defense training. All units AC per level. Attack formation. Hmm. Two active spells. Stone throw. Hunt. Cause fear, elemental protection. I'll cast the units in the. I'll cast the units, that's not good. Maximum size of the army by one unit per level of this feat. Oh, hello there. Yes. So, Saravier Levin Mist it is. Recruiter. Yes. Recruited General. Perfect. So now, how do I recruit, recall, split? How do I recruit units? Recruit. Um, 26 per week. Let's buy all, of course. Also, we need to buy all. Equipment. Sign general. Okay. Move to the main army, please. Okay, so how do I know? Ah, perfect. You're going to reinforce our main army. Perfect. Wait, that's not okay. Okay. Continue. Can't I? No. Travel. Why can't? Oh. Oh, that's our army. That's a problem. Okay, never mind. We need to get back. Of course, merging an army with a general won't work. No movement points. 
Okay, so the other arm? No, not you. Can you please click on the right? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so every one of you goes here. I can't... Oh! Max for army size. Mmm. Okay. On, oh, but we kind of... Oh, okay, 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 okay. How many units can we have, Max? Crusade morale, army strength. Very interesting. Army perception. Okay, never mind. We want two archer units. Hmm. Guess it's okay for now. Alrighty, now we have a strong army. And next episode we're going to dive into Conundrum Unsolved.